Hi guys, I'm back. Um, my hair's clean. It doesn't look much better better than it did the last video, but it's clean. I actually got in the shower minutes before I was supposed to go pick my sister up from work and stop by Walgreens and pick up the soap that I forgot to pick up um, on my last shopping trip. So I kind of went with damp head and my hair dried all on its own and when it does that the curls kind of take over so and I don't know there's some days when I fight the curls and some days when I go I don't even care so I went to Walgreens I went to pick up my sister and then on the way back we stopped by Walgreens and and I went in in a pair of capris and it's chilly here I went in in a pair of these like blue with teeny teeny white lines you can't really tell they don't look like striped capris but you know they were and a peach looking coral looking shirt that was wrinkled and scruffy hair because that's how I roll I didn't care I look like crap um but I didn't care so we strolled around there. I got, I don't know if I mentioned in my last video. Um, I think I did, but I'm not sure. But I got poison oak. And I'm very upset by that because I hate that mess. I'm super allergic to it. And it spreads like wildfire. Fire. And sometimes if I catch it quick enough, um, the stuff that I get called Ivy Dry works really good on it. But I have to catch it quick. And I don't know if I've caught it quick enough for that but usually it'll work it just okay um a little uh little warning here tmi is about to happen so if you want to stop but i don't know if you've ever used ivy dry but it it soaks into the skin and i guess the body gets rid of what it doesn't need or something and urine smells really bad really really bad Okay, end of TMI. So I got the Ivy Dry, for those of you who skipped TMI. I got the Ivy Dry and um, the soap and these giant bags of candy. I did, but I didn't have any. Today is on, on diet day, so I didn't have any. I had some of my light beef soup, which is so watery that I doubt it if it was if it, it has any connection with beef it was only like a five cent five second connection they ran it past the beef they strained the broth over the beef real quick I don't know so I had that and it has a few little veggies in it but not a lot and half a grilled cheese with the 35 calorie sliced bread so I've done good I've done really good and Uncle Cece brought home Sonic but it is not coke it is tea prove it tea well you can't really tell by that because it kind of could be coke or tea but it's tea so unsweetened tea so, um, yeah, dinner was easy. I don't, I used to put the soup in a boiler and heat it up. And I'm like, why? Why not just half it out in the bowls you're going to eat it in and heat those bowls up in there? The soup stays warm longer and you don't have that extra thing to wash. So, I don't do that anymore. So, um on diet day is really easy as far as uh, um, some of my hair is too short and that drives me nuts to stay up in the clippy but um, on diet day is really easy for cooking uh, what else did I do I mean that's it after this video after I get this video uploaded and everything I am going to go make some Thanksgiving cards because you guys, you know what happened with my Halloween cards? 
they're still in there in a box because I went to the kids and all of that and that was kind of not planned at that moment and I left everything in behind so I couldn't mail any happy Halloween cards out. I was looking, the wind's blowing a little bit, it's overcast, it's wonderful. So I, I'm, I'm all over the place guys, but I didn't mail any of those out. So I'm going to look on the bright side of it and go, I've got, I've got Halloween cards for next year already done. I'm amazing. <laughs> so I need to work on Thanksgiving cards and actually send them out this year. Um, so I'm going to go do that after this video is over, after I get it uploaded and everything. Sister's out riding around with a boyfriend and talking and stuff and um yeah that's it i don't have anything to say i'm gonna go put another um layer of ivy dry on my poison oak i used to have such i, I really hate it because I stay away from everything green, but I tend to get it every stinking year, and it's usually child-related. They are usually the givers of my poison oak, uh, but they don't think about it because they're not allergic. I would be so excited not to be allergic to poison oak. Um, okay, so let's see. Now, I told you all about Jay, I believe, getting hit in the head with a zip line and he's okay and the cousin my husband's cousin who's 19 20 somewhere in there um he's actually awake and speaking and the doctors don't think he has brain damage which is an absolute miracle of prayer and good vibes i truly believe it um he was severely beaten in the head with a baseball bat you just don't come out of that. You just, I mean, it's just a miracle if that you come out of it. So, he, I mean, he's not out of the woods yet, but he is um, doing better than he was. So, we're all thankful for that. Um, my husband's family's like my family. Family is everything, and it worries you to death to have someone in your family who's hurt or suffering it's not a good thing so we're all still praying for Matthew and if you pray or if you just want to send good vibes or whatever you do please send them that way um, uh, his name's Matthew and every little prayer and good vibe works so please keep keep going with it um, Okay, um, our daughter was going to come this weekend. She's not going to come this weekend. She has a friend coming from out of state who's coming in and going to stay with them. Um, I don't, it's a girl that she's been friends with for years. Um, so she canceled on us because we're the parents and we can take it. And then next. Um, I think it's a week and a half from now. She'll have some days off she's going to spend with us. So, yeah. So, anyway, i got to go figure out what I can do to make really pretty Thanksgiving cards. And I would really like to um, do some up um, and send to my mother-in-law so that she could send them out. So... Um, but I'm not sure, or my sister-in-law. I don't know that my mother-in-law really sends them out, and I think she would just go, oh, they're beautiful, and just keep them, <laughs> you know, uh, because everything I do she thinks is beautiful. Now, that's, that's a mother for you. My real mother never did. She's just not that way. So, um, I get my mothering through my mother-in-law, and she's fabulous. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm just going to sit here like a chipmunk or nuts something and bite on a fingernail that's, that I should be clipping off and filing. 
Um, but I have nothing to say. I've said I've t I said that in the beginning of this, but you know, I've got, you've got ten minutes of it. Um, yeah. So crafting, figuring out what I'm gonna do next. Oh, if you don't mind me leaving the video for one short second, okay, more than one. I'll show you really quick the little bags that I did on the fly. They're not perfect for um, Rennie and Junior for Halloween. <sighs> Sorry if you're hearing microphone feedback. I've got to get my blankie all wrapped back around me. I did these. And they have sparkly paper and they have an actual drop of vampire's blood on this one and a little spider and then this says vampire blood and there's all kinds of goodies in here all kinds there's a little rock candy sucker um it's pretty heavy guys it's a, it's a good bit of candy um so that's one of them so i didn't name them put any names on them and this one's devil's blood and there's a little drop of devil's blood all it is is a little stone little colored stone thing but i had them in my craft stuff and never knew what to do with them so i decided to do that and i think it works good and of course they're exactly alike because if they're not exactly alike all hell breaks loose so Anyway, I talked to Jay last night, and he said, Okay, Sherry, uh, and just in case you show up at our house before we come to your house, please don't forget the candy. So, um, he's very concerned about that. So, anywho, guys, I guess this is it. I guess I need to go for now. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you guys tomorrow, VEDFAM 2 today, VEDFAM 3 tomorrow. I'm trying. Bye, guys.